in 2005, I took Playboy's Miss March 1991 to Daytona Beach for a day of thrill rides and a photo shoot on the beach. And you get to see how it all went down right now in this video. Julie Clark's modeling career began the first day I saw her come walking out of the water at a southwest Florida beach. One look is all it took, and I asked her if she would like to do a photo shoot with two exotic cars I had already lined up, and she said yes. We did several photo shoots after that as I continued to encourage her to pursue a modeling career. She entered a regional pageant for Venus Swimwear. She won that and that moved her up to the Venus Swimwear National Pageant, and she missed winning it all by one point on the judges' scorecard, finishing first runner-up. Contestant number 38 is Julie Clark. This is Julie Clark. Julie from Naples, Florida, 18 years old. Working at the Fort Myers Athletic Club. Setting 5'6, she says she's energetic, open minded, and artistic. Julie Clark. It's going to blow at night. Okay, you are Julie Clark. Hi, Julie. Hi. Congratulations. Tell you, let's, are we all right here? Let's just move up just a second so my judges can see you right there. I don't want to move you out of the light. You are from uh, Naples, Florida. Yes, I am. Another Floridian. Born and raised in Florida? No, I was born in Arizona and I was raised in Georgia. Okay. Your father was in the military? Um, no, he worked for the government. Same thing. It's got you around. Did, which did you enjoy most? About? Uh, at which place? I'm sorry. Oh, um, I love Naples. I wouldn't want to go back to Georgia. So you like the, like the sun? I love the sun. Like I the, love the beach. Uh -huh. now, so have you ever done any contests like this before, Julie? None. I've never done any modeling or anything. I was in Venus last year, though. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the, this is happening. And you're only 18. I think you're the youngest of our 24. No. Eight. I'm 19. Well, you're 19 now. Well, you must have just turned 19 since you had, uh, since at least my card says you're, are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. Right, I wanted to make sure. These cards are always right. Now, you like to rollerblade. I see people doing this going down the streets. Uh, it, I've got to get up here. Is it fun? Oh, it's great. It's great exercise. You can, you can move a lot with your body, and it's great. I like to dance a little bit. <laughs> I'd like to watch. Now, <laughs> you, you, like, you would like to skydive. Oh, I think that would be the greatest. I would, haven't you ever just wanted to free fall from a plane? I think that would be so exciting. <laughs> and she wiggles when she roller skates. Why not? Uh, no, I really haven't, but, I, but, I, but you would do that. Yes, I would be more than happy. It wouldn't scare you at all? Oh, I'd be terrified. But that's fun for you. I think it would be great. Are you terrified right now at all? Um, no, not at all. Not at all. Well, you're doing well. Good luck to you, Julie. Thank you very much. Julie Clark. Julie is five foot six from Fort Myers Athletic Club, where she works. Likes to rollerblade, draw, skydive, someday maybe. She says her greatest accomplishment is learning to make her own decisions. Julie Clark, 
semi-finalist 17. Thank you, Julie. And of course, you will see her with her modeling contract representing Venus Swimwear. Well, I don't know how they chose, do you? I mean, it's getting... We're down to two names, folks. We're down to our first runner-up. Now, I want to mention, this is $17,000. $17,000 in cash and prizes. And don't forget that little puppy, Timber Shepherd puppy, worth 6000 that will attack any man that gets close. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and of course, if for any reason our winner cannot fulfill the obligation, and at times that does happen, first runner-up takes responsibility as the brand new Miss Venus Swimmer. Very, very important decision. First runner-up is... Julie Clark. Julie Clark. Congratulations, Julie. First runner-up. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you have a dog house? No, I don't. Not yeah. yet. Well, go build one because you've got a brand new puppy. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Julie. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, $130,000. A brand new Black Lotus Esprit Turbo. The world's most exciting automobile. One year modeling contract. That beautiful painting by our good friend. Hawaiian Vacation for Two from Continental Airlines. Fine leather wardrobe, fashions, exquisite five piece diamond set, emerald jewelry. Royal American Holidays, a trip to Cancun, Mexico, a wardrobe from merry-go-round boutiques. LA gear, unstoppable clothing outfits, a principal speaking role, and a motion picture or a commercial. Two-day two minimum guarantee. That's important in this business, let me tell you. A beautiful 5.35 carat opal tennis bracelet. bracelet. One year supply of LaCroix sparkling waters and all types of stuff, banana boat skin care, Ladies and gentlemen, in a set of keys that's right there, and that will fit it, Jay, to one of these girls right here. This is exciting. The brand new. Sid has given up. He can't find the card. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we got it straight. I... <laughs> Jay, you want me to read this? I know who it is. Now, I want to mention something. No, it's, it's right on a card here. It's here, in. I'll do it. No. <laughs> Miss Venus Swimwear 1991 and, and she also won the Special Swimsuit Award winner as selected by our panel of industry experts. So she won a lot more than 130000 bucks. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, your brand new winner, Dupreece Brescia. <laughs> Dupreece Brescia, Miss... Venus Swimwear 1991, $130,000. You add it all up. She was our Miss Photogenic as well. She wins $146,000. That landed her on the cover of several magazines like Swimwear USA, American Swimwear and Swimwear Bikini. All that exposure caught the attention of Playboy and they chose her to be Playmate of the Month, Miss March 1991. She scored the coveted magazine cover of Playboy the following month. She also appeared on the cover of Playboy's Spanish and Australian editions. Then Hollywood came calling. She got bit parts in several movies like Spring Break Classic, Can It Be Love? And she also appeared in Weekend at Bernie's. Her Playboy video centerfold hit the number one spot on the bestseller list out of all the VHS tapes that were selling at that time. Becoming a cover model, actress, and bestseller in such a short time was pretty impressive. 
But the hectic Hollywood lifestyle wasn't for her and she soon returned to a more quiet, peaceful life. Then, out of the blue, Julie calls me in 2005 and said she was thinking of modeling again and would I be interested in taking some new pictures and video of her for a new project she was working on. Of course I said yes, and our second collaboration began 17 years after our first. Since my channel is about my experience as a photographer, I'd like to point out that all the video in this movie I recorded with the Sony DVX2000 camcorder. It recorded on these little mini DV tapes. I didn't have the use of all the fancy equipment photographers have today, like a GoPro, which works really good in and around the water and has those insane onboard angles. I just had to sit there and hold my video camera, even though I didn't have a gimbal for those buttery, smooth action shots like photographers have today. I also had to shoot everything from the ground angle because drones weren't available yet. So I had no way of getting those beautiful aerial images. The other thing I'd like to point out is my editing style. I'm not a big fan of those that try to fit a clip in, in between each beat of the music. It makes it so busy that it's moving along so fast you don't even know what's going on. I prefer to let the scene tell the story and just use the music to help it flow along. I want the result to look natural, as if you're riding along right there with us. And I hope I succeeded. The last thing I'd like to point out is you'll see a bruise on Julie's right thigh. A few nights before this, we were shooting some sequences in a park, and I wanted her to walk along the boardwalk and then go sit on a bench. Well, she starts feeling a little bit frisky and decides to throw a cartwheel right in the middle of her walk. Now, I thought that was an excellent choice, and while I was getting in position for a second take, she decides to switch it up and this time do a round off instead of the cartwheel so she can fall backwards into the chair in one fluid motion. Her first attempt didn't work out so well. She caught her heel on the wood planks, throwing her off balance and sideways into the bench. She wasn't hurt, and we continued recording, but that bruise showed up a little bit later. While the bruise wasn't a problem for pictures, <coughs> Photoshop, <coughs> it was going to show up in the video. I didn't mind it that much as I looked at it more like a badge of courage than a bruise. I knew this girl had the go for it attitude, and the bruise was just a symbol of that. This video starts with me and Julie in my Jeep on our way to Daytona, and I'm, and I'm driving along with my steering wheel in one hand and holding the camcorder like this in the other hand, filming Julie as we discuss what we're gonna do about that bruise. All right, we'll leave the bruise on. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You are. You don't have to look tough. You are. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start digging deeper for something you can't do. <laughs> ultimate fighting? Can you do? Have you done ultimate fighting? No, before? I don't think I would do that. No. Huh? I might do some type of like, I don't know, boxing or something. I might try. Foxy boxing? Oil wrestling? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Skinny, <laughs> come here and put this oil on me. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's more of a, I don't know, spectator. <laughs> yeah, more for the spectators. And... Well, can you think of anything else on your list of stuff to do? You got a base jumping you haven't done yet, but you um, bungee jump. Uh, believe it or not, I haven't been scuba diving, so that is on my list. Oh, yeah. I hear it's pretty cool. So, if you get that done, then you'd conquer the land, sea, and the air, right? You've done it all. Indeed, indeed. Probably my ideal job, if I could have any job in the world, would be to drive high performance automobiles, test high performance automobiles on the Autobahn. Yeah, I think I would get out of bed for 
over that. <laughs> you wouldn't be afraid to do 150? No way. <laughs> no way you'd do it or no way you'd be afraid? No way I'd be afraid. Oh. Uh, okay, well how about... How about, uh, would you drive a NASCAR car? Sure. Like they have the Richard Petty driving experience where you can drive 150. Oh, would sure. you do that? I you would, would do, that. do that. Absolutely. Because I heard people say they can do it, but then when they get into that first turn and they're doing over 100, they have a hard time keeping up. Bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you, um, I thought you did a shoot one time for Playboy and you were scuba diving in the Virgin Islands or somewhere in Jamaica? Snorkeling. You snorkeled. Yeah, it's different, huh? Yep. You didn't get to go down very deep either, right? You just, no, we were just, you know, just under the surface and, uh, but I did, I did, uh, parasailing there. That was nice. Parasailing? After all the it's, stuff you've done, that would seem pretty slow and lame to you. It was pretty tame. It was pretty tame, but I had a nice view of the water, and I saw a big sea turtle. So it's scenic, you know. Nice view. Drink in your hand. <laughs> oh yeah. Yelling for the boat driver. Speed it up. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Knowing you, you'd probably try to cut the rope. <laughs> Parachute down. I thought about it. <laughs> Welcome to the beach. Julia, are you going to do it? Here we are. You bet I am. Where are you going? Point to, tell me what you're going to do right there because I can see it. Um, I'm going to take a ride on the slingshot. <laughs> I've been on my spaceship counting stars since 94. Waiting for someone to come and knock on my door. Looking for someone who'd be the Venus to my Mars Why does love always have to be this hard? Got me feeling like
like a real slingshot <laughs> as best as I can think of just describe it <laughs> would you do it again oh yeah definitely let's go <laughs> That was awesome. It was fun. Pretty yeah. good slingshot. It was I mean, really, um, it was really, uh, it wasn't jerky. Like it was really soft. There was no jerk on the takeoff. Really, on you the know whole, what I during noticed? The whole thing, it just like it's it goes really fast, whoosh, all the way up, and then just um, then you just like softly start bouncing back and forth, and then come down. That was a pretty interesting way to describe the ride. Kind of liked it. <laughs> so, so Julie conquered the slingshot ride twice, but she was still craving more. So I took her to the boardwalk around the corner next to the pier so she could try the sky coaster or what she liked to call the Superman one. The Superman one. <clears throat> See, Julie, it went above the, it goes above the poles.
Alright, ready? Three, two, one, fly! Let's put these guys right together. Oh, 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 <laughs> Woo! Good How's time. That? that was excellent. Which one? I think better? I like that one better. Really? Yeah, because your face first. You like it, the real Superman experience. You screamed louder. <laughs> the crowd enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Excellent, excellent. Let's go on to the next one. Next adventure, let's go. <laughs> yeah. I like good times. You did it. Did it. You know, you screamed so loud on the last one, I think you woke Christy up. Ha <laughs> ha great! <laughs> so with two outstanding thrill rides on tape, we decided to switch it up a bit and head to one of my favorite scenic spots on the beach to shoot some swimwear pictures. Here's Julie Clark, just shy of 36 years old and 15 years after she first posed for Playboy. Is it crisscross? It doesn't crisscross. No. Okay. Is it too tight or is it? A little bit tighter. Just a, a little, little bit. You got one of the old bolts to the side. Yeah. That's, real, that's right good. There? Right there. That's probably good.
As you can see, we got some great pictures. But with darkness quickly approaching, I decided to call it a wrap. We packed up and headed back to Daytona Beach in the Oyster Pub for a well-deserved dinner. We tallied up the day's events over a cold one, and we were both happy with all that we got except for one little thing. You see, the slingshot rod was supposed to have an onboard video camera that would have captured Julie's reaction while she was taking the ride. It wasn't working while we were there, and I was pretty bummed out about that. The ride operator did tell us that the slingshot ride on Orlando's International Drive had a working video camera, and they shoot you out of a volcano. Well... I just had to get that on tape. So I asked Julie if she had anything left in the tank to hit the Orlando slingshot before calling it a day. And without hesitation, she said, Bring it on! And off we went to blast her out of a volcano.
next one. Hey, come here and explain to me what that is. That's the slingshot. Yeah. This one, it blows you out of a volcano, so it's extra special. And, and is it like the tallest one or something? That's the tallest one, supposedly. In, in Florida. In Florida. No, in the world. In the world. <laughs> and you did it? I did it. <laughs> All right. Look cool. See you. See ya. I just got blown out of a volcano. <laughs> they have the ride and you know how they, they um, situate you and they lean you back in that ball? Okay, well when they do that, they sink you down lower and it's like, it's the tip of a volcano and they got it all looking really cool and stuff. And then they let the smoke come out and it's got this techno music blasting and then <laughs> <laughs> they just launch you out of the volcano. <laughs> it's the highest one in the world, and um, I'm not, not how high is it? I, know, I didn't see. I don't know. It's about 20 stories. Probably. About 20 stories high. Tell about the rider that spun you around after you got the bonus. And then, the so bonus. get this, because I was by myself, the, the ride operator went with me, and he gets us up after we do the first slings the first time we get up to the top he's he's like lean forward lean forward and he starts spinning the thing and we're going around 900 miles an hour around and around and around and around I was so dizzy it was hilarious and the video came out killer like 20 I don't know it's way the heck up there you should see the thing is killer <laughs> Uh, that's cool. Well, I was thinking about you. Wednesday. Yeah. <clears throat> yup, we're gonna do some more tomorrow. Um, we did a bunch in um, Skinny's house yesterday, and then today we're on Daytona Beach, and then tomorrow we're gonna go to a different area of Daytona Beach, so. <clears throat> Monday. Um, yeah, Wednesday sometime. Then I gotta. Then I'm going home. <laughs> well, let me check my itinerary. <laughs> if we did check our itinerary. It would show many of the other activities we had planned, like kayaking the crystal clear Wakaiva Springs and horseback riding some trails in Kissimmee, or maybe testing out our marksmanship. How about driving a swamp buggy in the Everglades, or seeing if she really would drive a race car 150 miles an hour around the high banks of Daytona? I took her to Sky Venture, which is a vertical wind tunnel that's used to simulate skydiving. With 250 real jumps logged, I think this one got Julie the most excited. Watch for an upcoming video dedicated just to Julie's Sky Venture experience and see why she could barely contain herself. What a day we had! It started just before noon when I told her we were heading over to Daytona to try a couple of thrill rides. She was ready and waiting for me in my Jeep before I could get my camera bag back. Being fussy is not part of her character, and I never heard a single complaint out of her the entire day. Zero drama, and I like that. It allows us to be free to enjoy what's in front of us. 
I never understood people that needlessly start fires and then have to waste time putting them out. I like good times too, and Julie was the ultimate wingman. YouTube was only a few months old when we recorded this video, so YouTubers and vloggers weren't a thing yet, but I think Julie and I would have made a great team. I bet we could have won it all in that TV show, The Amazing Race. So that's how my day with Julie Clark went, and you'd think the adventure ended when we left that volcano on I Drive. I thought Julie would have settled in, maybe he looked at her itinerary book for the next adventure to conquer before going to bed, but oh no. She decides to make us a midnight snack and turns a simple banana split into a colossal mess. I didn't mind one bit, and it was easy to clean up. It was kind of tasty too. You know the day is officially over when you hit the showers. So on this story here from my life as a photographer.